So you just saw how dynamic routing works and how rout routers get to know all this information. So now let's get into the Cisco Packet Tracer and see this magic of dynamic routing with our own eyes. Hello all, welcome to this Packet Tracer video on dynamic routing. In this video, we will see how to enable RIP in routers, how to see routing table generated by RIP and how to see RIP in working. RIP stands for Routing Information Protocol is one of the protocols which uses distance vector algorithms. Let us look into this section of our network. We see that this router uh, via this port is connected to the gateway and it is managed by the back, uh, border gateway protocol. And this part of the network has uh, 10 series address and this part of the network has 172 series address. So I need to add those two addresses in this router. I'm going to click here and click on RIP. And I just have to tell this router which all network it knows. For example, here it knows 172.16.0.0. And it also knows about the 10 series. So I have added these two networks and we can see in simulation that RIP packets are actually sent from that router to other routers. If we can open one RIP packet, then we can see that the device builds a periodic RIP update packet to send out to gigabit 0 slash 1 slash 0, that is this, and it adds an update route of 10 series to the RIP packet. So that is being sent now. This is how you set up RIP in a router. In Packet Tracer, we just saw how we can make the routing tables populate by themselves using the magic of dynamic routing. Yes, and we also saw how we can briefly configure one of these protocols to enable dynamic routing. So now is the right time for a quiz that you know the magic of dynamic routing.